In this tutorial, I will show you the basics of how you can add sounds to your project in Unreal Engine 5. First, I will add sound to my character here. So, enable the character and go to the event graph. And let's make a sound when he jumps. So, when the jump button is pressed, he jumps. And let's add play sound 2D. And then look for a sound. I already dragged this jump sound into my project that I made myself. So, I can just look for it or just type it in, hit compile, and when I play the game and I jump, I hear the sound. Once more, so you see, this one works. Now, let's remove this from here. You can also enable it with other actions or when you hit the key. For example, right click, and let's say I want the keyboard action G. So when I hit the G key, I can also play a sound. And I can choose one that I like. For example, the explosion. And just to be sure, let's print that we hit the G key. You don't have to do this, but then you can see on screen that I hit the G key. So let's name this G. And when I now hit compile, and I play the game, you see every time I hit the G key, it plays the sound. Cool. So you don't need this one. And this is how you enable basic sounds. Now I'm going to show you how you can add environmental sounds to your project. So again, we're here. And there's sounds from the starter content, or you can create these sounds for yourself. Let's enable, for example, the fire here. There's already a fire queue. So I can drag this queue into my project and you see the circles surrounding it. So when I open this one up, I can look further into this. So when I click on the sound, I see that it is looping. So it is always repeating that sound to the fire. Or I can also see the settings here. For example, the inner radius. So how big the sound is when you hear it clearly. So you can also see the radius changing here when I add to these values you see that it's getting bigger and the fall of distance is when you hear it less clearly but when you get closer for example now i'm in that zone and when i decrease it you see this zone gets smaller and i can drag the zone around so let's add this behind my player so when i now play this game Right now I don't hear nothing, then I hear a little bit of the sound, and now I hear it loud and clear, and I exit the ring, and the sound is gone. So that is the effect of this one. You can also make it with your own sounds, so for example I had this jump sound. I can right click and then create a cue for this, then I can double click on it. I can also loop this one. I can override the attenuation and also change the radius of this one and the fall off distance, for example, like these settings. And when I drag this one into my project, let's say I build this up on here and I hit the play button. Right now I hear nothing, the fire is that way, and the jump sound is that way. Then you see my effect. Now you can add this with nature sounds, fire sounds, or anything you like, add static meshes to the fire, add more sounds to here. And that is basically how you can enable sounds when your player does an action, or when it comes into a certain environment. Have fun with it!